Get pumped, everybody. Getting a little clap back about my song choice. Watch this. I guess that other song was a little sad. That's a, that's what I listen to in the morning to get up, to get myself in a good mood. <laughs> I'm Marilyn Rice Cub, international superstar to the stars, blazer list today. It's a heat wave special. This just in, Labor Day. Plan your long weekend. Should you believe in the virus? I love that they're on there going, how do you plan for the weekend? People like barbecues and cookouts. Turns out, masks and social distancing reduce the virus. <laughs> Let's hear that story again. Maybe I'll uh, celebrate by going to a Labor Day sales event. It's always good to get, you know, new sales. I'll get, I'll buy four new tires and maybe drive through a Black Lives Matter protest. Who am I kidding? I'll be here eating an entire bag of Snyder's honey mustard bits and pieces. This just in, I'm doing the news that comes across my desk. International superstar to the stars, Mary Lynn Rice Cub. Hey, Brad Pitt doesn't care if Angelina gets upset that he took his girlfriend to where they were married um, around the time of what would have been their six year wedding anniversary. This just in, that headline just won an award for journalism for the most delightful experience you can have reading the news in 2020. Students are rushing back to college. 1,100 students at the University of Iowa have already tested positive for coronavirus within the first week of school. Man, these numbers are really gonna fuck up their retention rates. Live for now, students. You know, get that carpe diem tattoo. It's too bad your grandparents won't be able to see you graduate. Graduate. <laughs> That's like, because as I was saying it, it was gonna be like too sad of a joke, you know what I mean? So my mouth was like, just garble that. Make, make it funny. Cause it's like too, that joke is too hard. That's too much. Hey, live for, li I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read it again. Live for now, students, get that carpe diem tattoo. It's too bad your grandparents won't be able to see you graduate. <laughs> There's a chance you won't have to pay back that college loan. Oh, you get it. <laughs> Let me be a little more positive. You know, in all honesty, we don't know 100% about any of this. Viruses are unruly. Maybe herd immunity will take hold, am I right? Who knows, not us. But please do take a chance. God knows you would never benefit from taking a year off to study and reflect quietly when you could be fucking everything in sight and blackout drinking. A guy yesterday at the dog park commented on how hairy my dog was and I've had so little human interaction. I was like, thank you. That is a hairy dog. Let's talk about it. New research shows that Los Angeles is in the top five uh, most stressed out cities uh, in the United States. <laughs> it is the most stressed yeah. out? It, it really is. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. But this is still worded incorrectly. Watch what happens. New research shows, we, Chelsea and I were writing in the room that has no air. And while my son's in there playing Xbox in the one room that does have it. And what did he say for us to do? Turn on the air? He doesn't get it, you know? I make his life easy. Next week, he's going into the coal mine. New research shows that Los Angeles is the most, it is. New research shows that Los Angeles is the most stressed out city in the United States. Um, new research also shows that the light from your computer ages you more than the sun. Coffee and sunscreen are both bad for you. What's next? Hugs are actually bad for the brain and the body? The research is not out on how we are supposed to live with that information. When can we start living inside our computers? What about living inside of your laptop and looking out for it? Is that bad for you? Hello? Anybody out there? Get weird on this just in. What happens is I talk and then I go down to move the cursor and then when it moves it like jumps really fast. Hey, you know there's on teleprompters you can get. You just put them in the iPhone. Never getting a teleprompter. Hey, coming up next, this just in investigated. Oh, this. <laughs> Coming up next, this just in investigated why couples still feel the need to get married during COVID. Good question. We asked it. 
Here's the answer we got from one bride. Weddings are an important rite of passage. Plus, we have to do this right now so he can't back out. Also, we needed an air fryer. It's in our registry. Crate and Barrel slash Michaela and Travis. <laughs> hey, this just in, we also learned that the internet as <laughs> Chelsea just lost. We also learned that the internet adds 10 pounds. Or we also learned that the internet adds 10 pounds. Alter your dress accordingly, Zoom brides. The couple from the previous story, uh, the couple was gifted the presidential suite at a fancy hotel in Vegas. It's three rooms, it's huge, and up until now has only hosted celebrities, dignitaries, and royalty, but now regular people can go and enjoy at a fraction of the cost. Enjoy the possibly corona-covered surfaces. The penthouse comes with 24-hour butler service. The butler is a little disheveled because he lives in the parking lot of the casino since March. He's been living there. Uh, they will also receive a free meal at the buffet, which is closed. VIP bottle service and private a private table at the club. So private and so dark because um, no one is in the club and you have to break in. Sounds scary. A touchless turndown service because the maid isn't allowed to touch anything, which means they have to clean their own room. This just in. <laughs> Why am I praying for this? Fox is so rattled by Trump's uh, military story that it confirms, debunks, and then reconfirms it. Well, which one is it? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which news do we want to go with? So hard to decide. They also didn't know whether to wear their hair up or down today. Oh, information. So pesky. Facts. Facts. If we all lived inside our computers, we wouldn't need these facts so much. We would live amongst them. We wouldn't be people anymore. Help me. Since being released from prison on charges of possession of firearms and racketeering. That's a fun word. Takashi six and nine. <laughs> revealed that he worries about his safety but he loves being in the spotlight he's he has made changes in his lifestyle though since getting out of jail he's happy when he can just have a nice cup of tea and read books in public spaces that's the new Takashi he likes to call in the New York Times puzzle challenge so he can hear himself on the radio good for you Takashi six and nine luckily he's able to employ 22 security guards per day because his face tattoos make him ineligible for the witness protection program. That's not even a joke. Facts. facts. Just the facts and not really. That's our slogan. Hey guys, if you like the show, thank you for being here. I'm gonna get this kind of the cat. He's from Africa. I picked him up backwards. <laughs> hey, hit us up at buymeacoffee.com this slash this just in. Oh God, he loves being held. Hit us up. And I promise to reply and drink lots of coffee. That's buymeacoffee.com slash this just in. Thank you so much for being here. Um, somehow this keeps me sane and I appreciate you. Low battery. Bye-bye.